Hello, my name is Mark and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, um, tuturo natin kung paano i-activate itong Office 365 in easiest way. Tip lang before we begin, no? kailangan po na meron tayong malakas na internet connection para hindi tayo magkaaberya later on on the changing of um, the password. Okay? Kasi ang provide ng ating ating division office, okay, IT division office na nanggagaling sa regional office is a username and a temporary password. At kinakailangan nating palitan yung ating password para at least mas madali nating ma alala yung password na ilalagay natin. Kasi um, if I still remember dun sa nakaraang seminar no, with regards to the activation ng Office 365 ng school account, okay, nagkaroon ng problema no, doon sa pag-a-activate nila and isa sa mga nakita namin is slow internet connection. So, pagdating doon sa Pagdating doon sa pag-change ng password, ayun, nagkakaaberya sila. Uh, let's jump into it kung paano. Ayan. So, first of course, um, yung username and password, kunin natin sa ating uh, district uh, ICT. Ito po yung uh, authorized na magbigay po ng ating username and password. So, this is my first time to activate my account. Kabibigay din lang. So, ayun, I will share it with you kung paano. So, I-open natin ang ating browser. Kakailanganin natin ng browser. Um, sa akin, meron akong Google Chrome. I will have my Google Chrome here. Question, sir. Sa laptop po ba siya i-activate? Well, if you are using your phone, pwede rin po siyang i-activate sa ating mga cellphone. Okay? So, paano? First step is to type office.com ayun, sa so nandyan yung office.com natin to type mo, we have office.com tapos, i-click lang natin yung sign in okay, second step po yun pag-click natin ng sign in require po tayo ng email okay, itong email na to eto yung binigay ng ating division IT officer so, ilalagay ko dito ayan, that is my email at we have, don't forget r1.dephead.gov.ph ayan po yun ang maganda sa Microsoft you know, ma-identify ka agad kung anong region yung mga user natin since we are from region 1 ayun, nakalagay ang ating r1 then next, pipindutin po natin yung next and then of course ipipaste po natin yung ating temporary password okay so, yun. Kayo din po nakakaalam ko ano temporary password po natin. I just copied it a while ago before starting the video. Para at least, ayun, i-control V ko na lang. Then, just click on sign in. I advise, isulat na lang po natin sa ating or sa maliit na papel, mga co-teachers. And then, ayun, be careful sa sa capital letter and small letter at, at uh, wala po siyang spaces. So, next, click po natin si sign in. Ayun. Ayun. So, we have, since I'm using my laptop, save ko na lang yan. Ayun. I-re-require tayong i-update nga yung ating password. Why? It's because yung mga password na generate is, ayun nga, napakahirap i-memorize. Kaya, ayun, ipipaste ulit natin current password. Yan yung binigay ng ating IT officer. Control D ko lang yan. And then, we have my new password. I advise with the new password, ilagay natin yung alphanumeric para mas strong siya. Ayun, sa akin ay si Tweet na merong capital letter, merong special um, character at meron din siyang number. Ayun, yun yung combination. Yun yung nire-require or yun yung sinasuggest na strong password para po um, ayun, para po hindi madaling ma-hack or hindi madaling makuha ng iba yung ating password. Then, right after that, just hit on sign in. Yun. So, we now have our updated or update password natin. We have more information required. Just click on next. And then, of course, dito, meron tayong, ano, meron tayong message. Authentication email is not configured. So, I will click on set it now. 
para halimbawa ay nakalimutan ko yung password ano yung gagawin ko at least kung halimbawa nakalimutan mo yung password mo may option doon na um, forget password tapos pag nag forget password ka isesend ng, ng Microsoft yung uh, way kung paano mo ma, ma restore yung iyong account so at authentication email I will just put my debit account that email me okay we've sent an email message containing the verification code to your inbox I'm going to open my gmail open natin ang gmail natin ayun and yun na nga microsoft on behalf region 1 so click lang natin si region 1 then there is your code so all you have to do is to copy and then place on here Oops, but ang bilis? Nasa second tab lang po tayo. So, kinopya ko lang po yun kasi hindi ko po ma-memorize ka agad-agad. You can just write it on a piece of paper. Tapos, balik tayo sa kabila. And then, we have to paste it here. Control V. Okay? Take note. Bilisan din lang po natin. Kasi po, yung session natin ay merong merong minutes na nakalagay dyan. Kapag natapos po yan at hindi po po natin na activate yung account natin, ay hindi ko po alam kung anong mangyayari. Baka mamaya kailangan natin ipareset ulit. Kaya mas maganda, at least matapos natin within 15 minutes naman yan. Napakabilis na yan. Okay? Click natin si verify. Ayun. So, may check na siya. Ibig sabihin, uh, authenticated na yung ating email. The next security question, ilagay din natin kung halimbawa na na tayong access sa ating ating uh, pangalan to sa ating email next pili tayo ng question in what city was your father born na lang then of course I'm going to type kung saan pinanganak ang aking ama followed by security question number 2 what is your mother's middle name okay so ilalagay natin we have followed by security number 3 what is your favorite food? Ang dami naman. What was the name of the first school you attended? Ito. Ang lang. Ayan. Again, itong dalawang ito ay uh, security question. Pag halimbawa, After that, just click on save natin yung answers. Ating password. At least we have this. Next, just click on finish. Para matapos po tayo. Then, stay signed in. Of course, Yes. Okay, so ibig sabihin, we now have our Office 365. Save time by teaching with Office 365. I hope, my dear co-teachers, uh, utilize po natin tong mga applications na to. It's very, very useful para sa ating mga guro. Okay, ayun. So, lahat ng mga yan ay pwede na natin i-download on the internet and use it. So, ayun, this is the solution for the problem, especially dun sa mga nag expire yung kanilang mga license. Office 365, so, ibig sabihin, if you now have this, this is just a subscription, it's not a license. Ibig sabihin, you can use all of this na hindi na, hindi na nag hindi na nag uh, eh, error ayun what are the problems ba ano ba yung mga problems na na-encounter natin with our previous office ayun uh, maalala ko ayan uh, magte-text sila or tatawag sila oh, sir mark yung aking office hindi na po ako makapag-encode okay so, yung license nila ay nag-expire na another thing is ayun nga uh, sir mark may nakalagay sa taas na need activation code ayan so yun yung mga problem natin so this time if you have this hindi na po natin kailangan ang license ayan so after activating your account anong susunod sir ganun na po ba yun of course you're going to open your office ilalagay natin i-open natin kahit isa lang na account halimbawa we have uh, word with microsoft word i-open lang po natin yan ayan yung splash screen natin we have the Office 365 or Microsoft 365 for Word. And yon, ito yung first screen ng ating uh, office, no? Office application, Microsoft Word. The next, ang gagawin po natin is to click on sign in. 
click natin si sign in and then I'm going to put here my email. Still remember yeah. at that ed orps r1 pala. Take note ha r1 dot that ed dot gov dot ph. Then just click on next. Yan so ilalagay natin yung ating password. Yan. moment you're all set just click on done and we're now connected ayun makikita natin yung pangalan natin dito we have mark kabakbak oh ayun na ayun, i'm so happy isa ako sa mga number one na user ng microsoft office and i know nakaka-relate kaya sa akin okay so yun Ayan, so ang gagawin natin after this, if you are using 2013, 2016, or 2019, pagka-login mo, ang gagawin mo lang is to click on file, and then you go back with account, dun sa may baba, tapos ang i-click lang natin dito, huwag na nating pansinin yan, since nakalagin na tayo, take note, dapat nakalagin ka. Dapat ang i-click po natin, mga ma'am, on sir, update options. Okay, we're just going to hit update options and then merong mga nakalagay dyan na option. Kiklik lang natin si update now. Yung updating process natin will depend on the internet connection na meron ka. Kung mabilis ang internet connection mo, ibig sabihin mabilis din matatapos yan. But if you have slow internet connection, ay talagang mabagal din po ang pag-update mo. Okay, once again, gaya nga nang sabi natin, patience is virtue. Ayan, so, click lang po natin yung update na. Ayan, ayan, meron na pala. We have uh, the download office update. So, that is just an update. So, hihintayin lang natin yung tapos na. Baka mamay, tanong nyo, sir, bakit ang tagal naman? Okay, lalong-lalo na kapag 2010 version ka po, ma'am, sir, talagang matagal po yan. Tapos, pangalawa po, Sir, bakit matagal? Lalo na kapag mahina ang internet connection nyo po, ay talagang matagal matapos po yan. So, let us just minimize this. Matatapos lang po yan. So, yun lang. You can now, you can now use your office no? on your desktop. This is a desktop application. We can also use itong pinakamaganda sa lahat. No? Take note, I just click on my browser. Sa browser ko, uh, ayan, office.com, nakalagin po ako dyan. Ang good thing dito is, you can use Microsoft Word even on the browser. It is all in one. Ayan, so that's it for our video. Kasi ang content lang ng video na to is all about uh, on how to activate your Office 365. Ayun, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nanood. And ayun, please continue to share no yung mga videos natin. Then just click yung like and of course, uh, please hit the subscribe button po. Ayun, napaka-importante po pati yung video ano. Panoorin po natin ng buo para at least patuloy po tayong gumawa ng mga videos. If you have comment with the tutorial, no, kung meron kayong comment or meron kayong tanong, uh, just write it down and try nating sagutin po sa abot ng ating makakaya. Ayun, uh, we are also supervised of course by our uh, yung mga head sa atin sa departamento. Ayun, shout out po sa sa ating mga idol. We have uh, Sir Janus, we have Sir Rick, we have Sir Renato. Of course, we have Sir Mike. Ayan, maraming salamat na sa kanila. Ayan, patuloy tayong nag-grow when it comes to uh, educational technology. Yan lamang po. Maraming salamat and God bless.